I don't think we're going to get it done quickly. In all honesty, I don't even think that we're going to get a new government quickly. I still <laughs> think that Angela Merkel will be the longest sitting chancellor, and to make this, she will have to hang in there until the 17th of December. Um, and, and then and it's going to be these coalition talks, if they ever start, are becoming extremely complicated. We can all see, I think, agreements on, on headlines. But when it comes to the nitty gritty details, like you said, so how do you finance the energy transition? Mm. Will you open up to Russia or not? Um, there the FDP and the Greens will really have a hard time to agree on, on these details. L let's wrap it up then just with uh, a focus on uh, maybe how our investing audience might think about the implications for, for different asset classes here. Um, is this a clear positive for the euro? this outcome? Is this a clear positive for bond investors, given what you've said about perhaps limitations on further borrowing? Is this a clear signal, a positive signal for maybe auto sector investors because it slows perhaps the pace of the energy transition? I, I think it, it is a clear signal that, that uh, Germany has woken up to the reality that it has to do something. Uh, that there are so many, let's say, eco economic construction areas which have to be speeded up very quickly. Um, it, it also means there won't be any harsh or U-turn change. So this is all always good uh, because investors never like uh, abrupt changes. Um, it also means that there will not be an abrupt change um, to austerity. So this is clearly good for, uh, for, for bond investors. It, is, it will be a very smooth, subtle transition to this next government. Um, but honestly, in all honesty, there still rem remains the risk that we end up with this grand coalition no one wants to see, yes. uh, that we might even end up in, in snap elections if everything fails. So it's un un unimaginable in Germany, but you cannot rule it out completely. So this means there will be some risks of how this whole thing plays out. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.